seeing how he came in last week, played well against Michigan State. We got us a dub, and now just seeing how he's been progressing throughout practice and stuff throughout the following weeks, and just for him to get his opportunity and chance to start, from that happening, that was that was kind of a tough moment. But I mean, you got to shake it off. I mean, football, the game still go on. So, I mean, we he was in our thoughts and prayers the whole time. But at that point, you just had to talk him up, try to talk him up as much as you can while he was down. And now we got to keep playing football, try to win the game. How does that affect your your guys' play personally when you see a team that go that go down like that? Oh, I mean, it, it affects us, it affects us. But at the same time, it's like it hurts us more as like as a human. It's more of just like dang. That's a that's another player. Because I mean, even still, other play, other teams they see that same stuff happening to the opposing team. It's still like, hey, you don't want to ever see nobody go down like that. So I feel like with us, it was it was like well, it was a sad moment or a dull moment. But at the same time, that gave us. I mean, it was more of a reason to play harder, in in my opinion. What about the play calling? Obviously, switching quarterbacks back to kind of base life. Um, how did that just change the whole game plan for you guys today? I mean, of course, you you know, I mean, certain everybody don't have the same skill set. So I mean, Dex likes to run. I mean. Quant Connors a uh, pocket passer. So you just go and change the game plan around the quarterback, and then we go from there. Um, I feel like, though, we still it, – it was still good things that we did out there. Uh, just a lot of stuff we left out on the table. I mean, but now you just go ahead and go into next season, get them corrected, and just come out firing in 2023. Emery, I know the season just ended back to, like, it's a question that's kind of has to be asked. I know you have another year of eligibility. Are you planning on using it? Uh, right now I'm just going – Take some time off. I mean, from the I mean, the season just ended, so I'm gonna just sit back, talk to my uh, parents, my family, think on it, pray on it, and then go from there. Talk to all the coaches, see how they feel, and see where I'm at and stuff. Not a, not in a real big rush about everything. Cause I do know I got another year, so it's just a matter of just weighing my options and seeing how stuff goes. How was your connection with Connor and crew? Obviously, once Kim came here in Dallas, kind of remained tight. You really stepped up and had a lot of big catches today. So what is what has kind of been working for you guys? This, this I just feel like. He, like I said earlier in the season, he did. I feel like I'm a, a dependable target. Um, I feel like our uh, communication and stuff has always been well. It's just a matter of just getting the ball. I mean, once you get them things going, then, I mean, he'll keep coming back to you. Like Coach Henry says, I said it before, ball finds energy. So I just try to go out and have the best energy on the field as I can just so I know the ball will come, and it just kept coming. Right, collectively, you guys didn't have this season you wanted, but I guess what are some of the positives you can take out of it? Team don't quit. Team no quit. I know I got a lot of fighters with me. Like, there's nothing that them boys do that I don't appreciate. Like, they still come in here and work hard just like everybody else. So, it's just a matter of little ticky tack stuff that we got to fix. And I feel like we're going to get it fixed. I guess when Dexter's in the game, can you feel that affecting the defense when, like, he has the opportunity to run in addition to, to Jalen or, or other running backs? Or how, do, how can you feel that affecting the um, I feel like it affects the defense a lot. I mean, you got now with having a dual threat quarterback who can throw and run, you have to watch both. And I think that's what was getting them early in the game. They saw that Dex could run. And with having somebody like you got Josh Henderson, you got Sean Shriver, you got Jalen Lucas, you got Dex. So with having all that in one backfield, it's kind of hard to pick and choose your poison because if you try to step up on Dex on the option, it's going to J. Lou. And you saw what happened with that. If you try to do anything else, it's going head over heels with Josh and Sean. They coming down here and they're running. So I feel like now we're having that. And once we get Dex back, I feel like it'll, it's going to shake up a lot of stuff.